What's up guys, it's Brad from Light Architect. One of the things I mention a lot on this channel is how 3D CGI and visual effects compositing is about utilizing different visual data effectively to combine elements into the scene in order to create a seamless composite. This data often includes a live action shot, 2D stock elements such as smoke and fire, and any added or reconstructed 3D elements. When it comes to the 3D elements adding or recreating a scene, we often render out multiple passes and layers to have more control in the final compositing process. These include data passes such as diffuse, glossy direct, emission, mist passes, shadows, ambient inclusion, and more. We often render out these passes on a multi-layer OpenEXR file format so that we can access them all individually without having to use multiple image sequences, streamlining our compositing process. Now basic multi-layer OpenEXR file formats are great for storing standard render passes of your 3D scene like those we just mentioned. However, oftentimes a big part of visual effects compositing is compositing 2D elements within a 3D rendered environment. This is where deep EXRs come in. Deep EXRs contain depth information for each pixel of the image, allowing for greater control and manipulation of individual elements within the scene, within the compositing process itself, without having to use standard 3D holdouts of certain elements. Similar to basic camera projection, deep compositing doesn't always offer the same 3D control as manipulating the actual scene within your 3D program, so its use is often considered more 2.5D rather than full 3D itself. That said, because artists can utilize the depth information from every pixel, this technique proves highly useful for precisely applying accurate depth of field effects, compositing multiple extra 2D elements such as fire and smoke, creating realistic shadows and reflections, adding volumetrics, and even tweaking basic lighting all after the sequence has been rendered. This technology ensures that the 2D elements more seamlessly interact with the 3D world, creating a more cohesive and believable final composite. To utilize deep EXR visual effects compositing, various programs are employed for both exporting deep data and compositing it. In 3D rendering software such as Maya, 3ds Max, and Houdini, deep EXR data can be exported by enabling the deep output option in the render settings and selecting the appropriate file format such as deep EXR. This allows the rendering software to include depth information for each pixel in the final render. Now unfortunately for Blender, deep data isn't functional yet with the Cycles rendering engine as well as the inbuilt compositor. However, you can export deep data using Octane from Blender and then use that data within a deep compatible compositing software such as Blackmagic Fusion or Nuke within your creative process. Anyways guys, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're interested in more visual effects and filmmaking content. And I'll see you next time.